Hey y'all, welcome to Raider Dog Ranch. This is Mike. Today we're gonna be installing some coilovers on this 98 Honda Prelude. We're gonna see if we can bring this thing down a little bit. Get a good picture of it before. We'll go through the steps of the install and then we'll take some pictures after to see how low we get. So this is just a, a notice that this video is not meant to be a how-to. We are gonna step through the components of it, but we're kind of going through them in a short process, not like a mechanic would. I've said before on this channel, I am not a mechanic. I'm a DIYer, so figure it out as you go. I'm just kind of documenting the steps so that if y'all decide to do this with your car, I know a lot of y'all have 98 Preludes out there. Just kidding. Um, this is kind of a step-by-step -step on how to do it, and we're most excited to see what the final product looks like. Just a reminder, always put your jack stands underneath when you get ready. I like to leave the jack with a little bit of pump on it as well as a backup system in case the jack stands were to fail. All right, the way we're gonna do this is we're gonna remove the bolt down here that holds the, the bottom of the shock on. This little Y piece right here connects to the shock. So we're gonna take this off to give us more space. Then we'll take this bolt off and we'll be able to move the shock out. So now that we're gonna replace the, or we're gonna pull out these three bolts up top. That's the only thing holding the strut in from the top. So after we pulled out this bolt here, the one that kind of holds this, this Y angle on, you can see that's, that's pretty loose. So we're probably, definitely when we remove the shock from the top, I'm sorry, I keep saying shock, shock, strut, coil, it's all the same thing to me, I'm an old school guy. So once we get this out, that's gonna be easy to slide this out and then we'll put the new one in. right there so I'm binding it. Mm -hmm. Just doesn't have a lot of room to move side to side because yeah. of that up there. Okay so we got the coilover out as you can see sitting down here. Took a little bit of work. We had to turn the wheel to give us a little space right here and a little bit of wiggling up and down on this to get it worked out. So notice uh, we're about to put on the front coils. These are the shorter ones. There is a left and a right. Uh, you can see on the top, there's five bolts that hold that on. So you can see the, the single bolt goes toward the front, but these little brackets down at the bottom are what matter to put it on left or right. And from trial and error, we learned that this one over here is driver side. I don't know if you can see that. The brackets are kind of on the inside, whereas these are also on the inside, so they face each other. This one will be driver side. This one will be passenger side. So on the passenger side with the top of the strut, notice this uh, this electrical connection right here. It's right over that bolt we need to get to. So we're gonna have to get that connector out right uh, right here. Figure out how to get that thing out. All right, what we're gonna do is take, see this tab? We're gonna push it out, get this screwdriver in there, and then it's gonna slide straight up. And then we'll slide that back on to make it click back on when we're out of the way. Then, this is still kind of in the way, so we'll disconnect this if we can. Oh, these old connector parts are not nice. So now we can see the bolt. This one gave us a little trouble, so I wanted to show you what happened. So we were trying to take this coil out and this last bolt would not come all the way through. Well, the top of the strut housing was hitting this little lip here. So we had to get a little pry bar in there and pull it off that lip because it just would not move in any direction. We tried lifting and lowering the the wheel assembly. We tried twisting it. That was the only fix. All right, there we go. Strut number two installed. Snugging up the bolts now, and then we'll drop it down and see how low we got. All right, here we go onto the back strut. You can see it goes right up into the trunk. There's one bolt down here on the bottom. Some of the other videos we watched talked about taking this entire control arm out from the top. We're gonna try it first to see if we can just get this out and uh, wiggle it over. 
to take the rear struts out, you have to take out the control arms too. The control arms are connected here and there's one in the front. There's an access panel. We've got the seat folded down. There's an access panel up front right there that gives you access to that bolt. You have to drop the control arm because you don't have enough travel to get the coil out without taking something else apart. This is the easiest thing to take off is the top control arm. All right, you can see, let me pull this back. Nope. You can see this control arm here has been taken out of the way. It was bolted into the top. You can see this strut went right here. Control arms went around it. This one's a bear to get out because you can see this is pressed in. So one came out easily. The other one you have to beat out with a dead blow to break it loose. So all empty here. We're about to put the new coil over in. And then we'll go to the last side. All right, here we go. About four hours. It took us to put all four coilovers on. It's pretty hard to see with the limited light. You can see it's dark outside. So the bottom has almost no clearance. That's almost perfect. The front's a little high. We're probably gonna have to adjust the fronts down a little bit, but we'll do that another day. So you can see that there's still inch of clearance there. Oh. Really not very hard. I mean, probably on the, the difficulty scale, on a scale of five, maybe a three. If you're pretty familiar with everything around a car, it, there was nothing that really tripped us up too much. I will say it's really nice having a power impact driver. Those make quick work of all this, these heavy torqued bolts. That's a must have. But anyway, if you enjoyed it, click the like button, the subscribe button, the notification button. Come back and see more videos. Thanks for hanging out. We'll see you next time.